Welcome back to the Readiness Channel. Today we're going to spotlight a couple of products put out by August and Farms that I think has a very important place in any emergency response plan. Let's get started. I was intrigued by these Ready Now pouches, so I contacted August and Farms and asked them if they would be willing to send us some of these so that we could review them for you, our viewers, which they did. The unique thing about this product versus just another pouch of freeze-dried food is this has everything you need contained in one simple kit. Augustin Farms is a reputable company in the emergency food uh, supply distribution. If anybody does any type of prepping, you're probably familiar with the company's name. And no, they didn't close up forever. Like we saw from a lot of uh, errant videos that were made you know, some months ago, uh, the company came out at that time and said they were kind of regrouping, if you will, due to supply chain issues and other things. They never said that they were closing their doors forever. Uh, they're still very much alive, and they've come out with this Ready Now pouch that we want to take a look at today. In these new Ready Now meal pouches, there are two kits available. Uh, this one here it includes the Steakhouse Potatoes, Chocolate Protein Shake, Maple Brown Sugar Oatmeal, it comes with emergency water cans in the kit, so we don't have to think about the additional need of water. And then it says utensil and straw. The other kit is very similar. Uh, it contains farmhouse potatoes, where this had, uh, recall, the steakhouse potatoes. So we have a different variation of potatoes between the two. Uh, we have a vanilla protein shake in this one versus the chocolate shake. Uh, maple brown sugar oatmeal. Again, we have water utensils and straw. So they're very similar uh, in the fact that they have uh, protein shakes, oatmeal, potatoes, water, and the necessary utensils in them. The difference being that one has a steakhouse potato, one has a farmhouse potato, and we have uh, vanilla and chocolate. Uh, in our protein shake. One simple thing that I noticed for those of you that maybe have somebody with a gluten intolerance or celiac in your family is the, uh, the kit that has the steakhouse potatoes in it does show the ingredient of wheat specifically in the potato list in the back. Uh, whereas the one that has the farmhouse potatoes just shows milk and soy as far as allergens in it. So that's just something that somebody might find uh, useful for their family if you have some of those problems. There's quite a bit of information on the back of the pouches as far as ingredients and all of our nutrition values. So I'll provide some footage of that towards the end of this video for those of you that would like to stop that and take your time examining that and reading it. As far as the shelf life on these is concerned, Augustine Farms is telling us that we have up to 25 years on the food and up to 30 years on the cans of water. Here Augustine Farms is telling us shelf life based on storage conditions best when stored between 50 and 70 degrees. If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know that I'm a big proponent of bugging in and not bugging out. And I know that debate uh, rages on and it will continue uh, to do so still. Uh, the reason that I believe that is it would take a whole lot for me personally to leave my gear, supplies, and other essential equipment uh, to and put on a backpack and you know go out into the unknown and try to survive. Uh, but are there scenarios where that will very likely be the only choice we have in a, in a life and death decision? Absolutely. That's where I think a simple kit like this really comes into play. These things have food, water, some protein in them, and everything that we need to just grab these and head out the door uh, and be on our way within, within seconds. Well, let's open these things up and take a look at them and see what we got. I think we'll start out with the uh, steakhouse potatoes and the chocolate shake model first and we'll just see how we uh, and we'll see how this thing fares taste wise. Okay and here's what the kit comes with. We've got four cans of water. We have a pouch of our maple brown sugar oatmeal. We have our steakhouse potatoes and we have our protein shake. The kit also comes with a straw, some utensils, and salt and pepper. Let's go ahead and crack open the oatmeal and see what we get here. Okay, as usual, we're going to take out the oxygen absorber and get rid of that. And we have just a simple, you know, dry oatmeal product in the envelope. Okay, the instructions on the oatmeal are just telling us to tear the pouch open. Uh, we're going to take out the oxygen absorber and discard uh, using the pouch as a bowl. And we're going to add about a third of a can of water 
or adjust for your desired consistency. And it says enjoy a meal straight from the pouch and drink the remaining water for hydration. Yeah, the water doesn't have any weird chemical taste or any kind of, you know, saltiness or anything strange like that. It just tastes like good, clean drinking water. I definitely think it's worth noting that we don't have to do any cooking with these meal kits, and I think that's another big advantage of them. The food products and the ingredients they've provided for us in them allows us just to do this. You can do this in your car, out sitting on the side of a trail or on the side of the road, whatever the case may be. Okay, so there's our maple brown sugar oatmeal. And we'll go ahead and make the potatoes and we'll test kind of both of these side by side as far as taste goes. The potatoes are telling us that two thirds of a can of water is required. Mix with a spoon and let stand three to five minutes and it says enjoy the meal and drink the remaining water in the can for hydration. So let's open these things up and see what we get. Okay, and there's our steakhouse potatoes that come in the kit. And the flavor is decent. It's absolutely acceptable for what we would expect in a food kit like this that is designed for survival, not five-star dining. Let's give the oatmeal a try. And the oatmeal is obviously what you would expect from an instant type uh, brown sugar maple type oatmeal. Certainly nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, a very familiar taste to many of us. Okay, now we're going to mix up our chocolate protein shake. And it's telling us to open the pouch. Uh, get rid of the oxygen absorber, pour one can of water into the protein shake powder. So this will be one to one ratio here. That's easy enough. Pour it in this cup here and we'll see uh, what we've got. Very tasty. You have uh, a very pronounced chocolatey flavor with a little bit of that um, whey type you know taste that you're going to get with any protein shake i think that's very good let's go ahead and crack this one open now and we'll kind of compare uh the shake and the potato dishes versus the one that we just tested okay overall like we've said several times now the kit is very similar it just comes with a little bit different uh ingredient list as far as our potatoes and our shake goes we're not going to open up the maple uh, brown sugar oatmeal again since we've already tested that. We do want to test though our these farmhouse potatoes and we'll also test the vanilla protein shake and we'll see how it compares to the chocolate one. So our instructions here are telling us the same thing as the others. Let's give uh, these a taste test. The farmhouse potatoes are very good. They are a little less seasoned than the steakhouse potatoes so I am going to add a little pepper out of our kit onto them. The steakhouse potatoes definitely have a very heavy uh, seasoned taste to them. There's a lot of salt and pepper and all that, which I normally would like. I detect just a slight, a uh, little bit of a bitterness in the aftertaste in these, and you know, nothing off putting or nothing that's, that's problematic. But compared to these, these are just more of a neutral potato flavor. Uh, I like the, the, uh, the lightness to them, if you will, as far as seasoning goes, and you can add your own seasoning and bring them up where you want them to be. And your mileage may vary on that. That's just my personal uh, taste on these two. But again, they're both very good and they'll both get the job done. Let's give this vanilla protein shake a go and we'll see how it compares to the chocolate shake. Same type of thing as I described with the chocolate shake. You've got a very very good vanilla flavor in that, and you can taste the whey powder like you would in any uh, protein shake. Okay, after making up all the food and the meals here, with the exception of the one oatmeal pack, if it would be about a third of a can of water, I'm still left with four uh, full cans of water out of these two pouches, which would be a much needed resource in any emergency situation. We talk a lot about food in our emergency preps, but water really needs to be the primary thing that we think about. You can go a lot longer without food than you can without water, and these Ready Now meal pouches provide that life-sustaining resource. Okay, as promised, here's a short clip of some of the specifications and nutritional values on these things, and you can stop it and, and look at it as long as you need to. 
there's our simple instructions up there we've got our nutrition facts this is on the steakhouse potatoes and chocolate protein shake model and now we'll go over to the farmhouse potatoes and the vanilla protein shake same instructions on how to how to make this thing happen anybody interested in the weight on these things uh, my scale is showing four pounds one ounce per pouch I think the pouch says three pounds ten point something ounces so you know there's a little bit of weight to this obviously because of the water but uh, when it saves your life that water is a valuable valuable resource hey thanks for watching today's video you know I think these products like we've looked at today uh, have a place uh, they're certainly not going to be something that you build your entire food storage plan out of obviously uh, but they do provide a niche need in our emergency preparedness gear I do think it's important to have something prepared and ready to go when you got to get out of Dodge uh, within seconds if you like the information that we provide in today's video be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and as always remember get ready so that you and your family can succeed and thrive or maybe saw this and, and uh, 